Hi, welcome to Project Design IO. If you have access to the exercise file, please open the file indicated and then try to follow with me. Otherwise, you can just watch free access to this video and the whole course is in the description below. Okay, so this video is about distribution board reports and schedules. This is similar to a circuit chart, but it's not the same. And I actually use them more than the circuit charts. They're more useful. Okay, let's start. Go to the report stubs, go to reports, and then we have distribution boards. And we've got four options, report, schedule one, two, and three. What's the report? Let me show you. And oh, by the way, notice the switchboards are not here because it's a distribution board schedule. So only distribution boards in your system will be displayed. Let's create one for teaching. And what you have in here is a very basic board data. There's just an ID number and name, if you add another name. And then you've got quite extensive circuit details, okay, including connected load, but notice there's no diversified load. And you've got cable type, size, protected device size, length of the circuit, and so on. Let me show you another one. You go distribution board schedule one. If I create that report, the difference here is that the board data, the distribution board data, is extensive. We've got number of ways, fault rating, ZD value, that is ZDB value, by the way, uh, connected load, diversified load, and in here you can actually see the diversified load. So you see diversified on top, connected on the bottom, and likewise diversified on top, connected on the bottom. That's how you should read the, the uh, report. And then you've got more information, you know, power factor, protected device type, setting, if there's AFDD, a cable size, cores. In here you see two times one three core. That means it's a ring circuit. Type of the cable, if there is a separate CPC, it will be displayed in, and the length, design length. So pretty much the same information with the extensive board data plus diversified load. That's all the difference. Now let's check the schedule number two. The schedule number two, it's almost exactly the same as schedule number one. It includes all the same information plus grouping factor and ambient temperature. Because you've got grouping factor, you also have a number of cables grouped with. That's the only difference between schedule two and schedule one. You may want to include this when requested by the consultant. The one which I use most is distribution board schedule three. I use this to share information with my site team. I've got extensive board data. I don't have all the design information, but my guys on site don't need the grouping factor. What they need to know is what circuit it is, what cable, how many cores, whether this is a ring or radio, what size, what is it feeding, what is the protected device, and I've got detailed uh, protected device, and what size. And that is very useful and much more useful than a circuit chart. So they know what cable to order, what protected devices, and so on. Limitation of the distribution board reports, all of them, none of the reports will show you spare ways. If you have spare way, it will not be shown. Okay, but remember, distribution board schedule three is the most useful and the default schedule you should go for instead of circuit chart, I would suggest. Thank you very much for watching.